Alright everybody, this is Brick Builder here, and welcome back to another episode of Egg Wars slash Money Wars on the Cube Craft server. We gotta dive right on into this and just shred some noobs, go to their islands, and crush their dreams, hopes, and souls. Okay. Or, you know, not because it's a video game, but nonetheless, let's get our pickaxe. Boom. Give me a ton of blocks. Okay, we're gonna go for we're gonna go for dark blue right away because I think that just be a little bit more fun to go for them since it looks like they've been jumping into the void like twice, not realizing that they remove the ability to just spam your kit like that in the new update, which is pretty hype out of Skype if you ask me. Let's -a go shred this person right now. Okay, maybe if we build straighter, be a little bit faster, but let's also go up because I'm all the way up if you know what I'm talking about. Come on, let's do this. Yeah, we're definitely doing pretty good right now. Okay, let's see. Are they going to be the pro gamer that they think they are? Or am I going to wreck them? Hi. Hello. Hello. Good. Bye, egg. Okay, I don't know why I blocked myself in here. It's kind of uncalled for and unnecessary. Where are they at, though, is what I want to know. Oh, hi. And they were not the pro that they expected they would be. So they're a little bit of dead. They're DED right now. And give myself one more of the gold i guess i got a little bit extra so boom some gaffles and i guess we'll buy two more pieces of steak because that could be valuable if we ever felt we needed it now yellow we can also go for we gotta be careful we are green and it's key that our base stays defended but at the same time it's like do i really care about you egg i can survive you know i don't really want to put all my eggs in one basket or anything but do i really need to worry about this egg that much so I think what I'll do is I'm just going to spam down a ton of sandstone around it. And we'll just see how that works. I think this will work relatively nicely if I could actually, you know, cover all sides of it. <laughs> I forgot about one side entirely. That's not how you do this. And we'll just, like, throw a bunch of this stuff here. And we'll just be like, boom, boom, boom. And logically, what we're going to do is we're going to eventually pop obsidian in the front here. Because... That way it's slightly less obsidian, but it still gives the same amount of protection. We gotta just buy some more blocks before we go over to the next team we're gonna be eliminating, which is the yellow team. We're gonna slice a banana in half, hopefully, because clean cuts are how you do this 1.8 PvP. Let's -a go. All right, come on, building, building up. I think this will work pretty nice. And yeah, so hopefully it will because we're currently doing pretty awesome and let's hope we can keep it up hi oh wow they got somebody here oh no oh no they got another person here no no, no i'm not i'm not the one that you're supposed to be eliminating oh no oh no guys we got a problem there's already a path built this is a major problem we got a major problem on our hands right now a big big problem all right Huge problem, if you ask me. Okay, we gotta like gear up for this because we need to be. Whoa, what the heck was that? That's insane. That they can even jump like that. Come on, we were doing insane. Whoa, come on. Yes, whoa, I managed to get the fist kill. Whoa, or somehow, I don't know, maybe they disconnected. I have no idea. But anyway, I'll take it. That was clutch and insane. Even think that it could possibly happen. I don't even know how they got to the middle. They don't even have a path to the middle, so I don't even know how they could have got there. Well, maybe hacker? I'm not really too sure. But not one to judge right now because I don't have all the evidence laid before me. So give me one of these. Okay. What I think we're actually going to do is it might be smart for us to jump between the two islands to collect iron in the most efficient of ways. I'm not really sure. But I think we're just going to build our path from here anyway, just so it's not right at our base. Because I do like to get a bow at this point in the game. I'm thinking probably would be a smart maneuver to make. So, yeah, I'm probably going to go for that play. And, um, i a tad bit more of that. Because I do want a little bit of blocks just to, you know, reassure myself that I can make it to the middle. So let's start with these 16 and then we'll switch over. So let's do this. Come on. Because there's only a couple teams left, but having a bow just gives you that much more of an advantage over your opponent. You know, punch bow, that's where it's at. And collecting diamonds on this map is very, very, very easy to do. 
Cypher, we might as well take advantage of that and get a little bit of good gear, you know, because nobody's going to go for an egg at this point, honestly, because we would definitely be able to tell when somebody goes for it. So we'll be safe in that aspect. And now we're just going to kind of like make like a little bit of a right angle here, a little two right angles, just so that way we can avoid that tree. And let's see how close are we. Pretty close. Let's like start building up like this. Boom. Because that'd be smart. And yeah. There we go. Boom. Let's collect some diamonds now. Alright, so let's see. Where are these people at? We got one down there in chain. That's a little bit scary. Because if they were to fight us now, we'd be unprepared. We got a full iron. Okay, so we definitely want to get diamond gear. It seems like it's probably worth that we invest in more than just a bow. So I think that's kind of gonna be what we end up doing. Cause just a bow doesn't seem like it's gonna guarantee a victory. Whereas like a lot of diamond stuff might. What I wanna do though is we need to get, let's get the bow already just so we have it. Because if somebody does come near us, I'd like some form of attack that I could use against them. So yeah, the bow's where it's at. I'm not gonna be able to kill him with a wooden sword. So yeah, uh, punch, boom. And how much arrows? We can get 25 arrows. Not any oh no. See, this is why I bought the bow. Oh no. Oh, come on. Back up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Come on. In the void. You're supposed to be in the void. You are supposed to be in the void. Oh no, come on. My one chance. Ugh. I keep screwing up. Can't even aim. Here we go, right in the void they go that time. Good. See, that's why we did that. That was such a smart and clutch play on our hands. Because if we didn't do that, we would have had a massive issue. So, yeah. Thankfully, we managed to avoid that. And we shredded them as well. Which gave us a pretty bit of an advantage. Alright, boom. There we go. And buy a ton of blocks. And we need some food as well. Let's buy a little bit more steaks. There we go, back, middle we go. We did buy a stone sword. Don't really know if it's really gonna help us that much, but I you know, just wanna reassure and we have some of the slightly more damage. So I'll take it. We, need, we still need to get better pick, which people are gonna have obsidian. And it's probably worth it if we buy it, but I don't think we're gonna go for that game, because that's just not the kind of game I play. We're gonna go for sword, pick, and then the rest of the armor. So we're gonna need around 40-ish diamonds, I would guess, because like, that's 22 plus 15, so yeah, it's gonna be 37 diamonds that we need, at least. And then maybe we'll buy a couple other things if we have some leftover diamonds that we want to collect. I'm not really sure, but let's just go around here. Let's just swing around these parts, boom. Already at 24, that's pretty good. It won't take too, too long for us to collect up the remaining bit. All right, boom, I also realized that we could also just effectively just walk around like this and not sprint save food and also it doesn't really make much of a difference anyway so I think we'll just do this save a tad bit of food because you know why waste the iron on it if we don't have to we need a ton more arrows because six arrows that's not gonna be just that's kind of plenty here we need like god here you know what I'm saying all right and give me that yeah okay go down here collect this gold up a tiny little bit because actually you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get 48 I think so that way, or 40 something. So I can also get a level three gold gen back at the base because I really do want that. I think it'd be super useful for us to be able to collect our arrows at the base instead of having to do it at the middle, which will make it a lot more riskier than it has to be. So yeah, let's just go for that. Okay, we'll upgrade it. And then also I think I'm gonna head back to my original island as well, just because I feel like it'll be a lot safer there. Although I could get sniped off some traveling path, I think I'm gonna survive, and I did survive. Boom, upgrade it once, 10 diamonds, yeah. All right, it costs 25 again, but we're not gonna go for that purchase. That's a little bit on the extreme side, I think. So we're not gonna go for that. I don't think we need to do that. Boom, there we go, have all that. Now we gotta just buy the iron armor. We already have a chest place, so let's not buy another one because that would be really dumb of us to do. Boom, and we can collect up a ton of this. And uh, we could go back to the middle and get this thing fully upgraded, actually. So maybe we'll do, wait, now. Nah, let's not do that. It won't take too long to do what we want to do. Let's get our arrows first. There we go, 30. 
Now that's tons of arrows like I wanted, so that's good. That's kind of what I was desiring to have from the start. There's our gold, there's that. We probably do want some gapples though as well. And let's do this now. At this point, I think we're a little bit more geared than we really need to be to end the game. So I think we're gonna try to push for a little bit of a closer towards. We're gonna try to like eliminate somebody and get it closer towards the end. I don't think we're gonna be the sole reason that the game ends though right now because it is still a little bit early in the game to have that kind of confirm that we can do that with our power that we currently have invested in us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to kill this person here though, who is trying to get some diamonds because they just died. And if I kill them, they don't get to respawn as well. So that's a huge advantage that we get is we just effectively killed them. Basically, yeah, they're pretty much dead. There we go. I'll take it. So let's go for probably a shield at this point is probably more worth it, I would even say. So, yeah. All right, looks like they're engaging. So maybe I go for light blue now. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it. At this point, I think it's a good strategy is to go for them while they're still, like, fighting up there. So let's do that. Okay, boom. And yes, there's already a pathway here to light blue. Hopefully, though, he doesn't have a nice little bow, because if he does, I can very easily get sniped to death. Okay, let's run. We gotta run this. Come on, let's do it. There we go. Going in clutch. I'll take it. And when we're here, they did not even have it. Boom. Oh, nice. I just shredded the guy, and then they killed the guy. That was clutch. I'll take it. And let's buy a ton more arrows and some more blocks, because who doesn't like good collection of blocks, you know? Legos are pretty popular here in the U.S. and around other nations as well. Oh, hi. Hi. Okay, are you trying to get middle gear? Are you trying to get middle gear? Because let's just mention that I pretty much am going to be killing a noob to win this game. It seems because they don't even have any gear. And it looks like instead of them buying gear, they're trying to go to the center all the time. That's not a good strategy for them to win this. Okay, we gotta be careful here. Let's block up this path a bit. Yeah, boom, like that. Let's go for stuff like this. Boom. Can we shoot you back? No, we can't. All right, well, we don't actually really have to shoot you back. All we gotta do is get inside the tent, pop the egg, which shouldn't be that hard to do, because we can just fall down like that and then scoop it up like that and then diamond sword them to death. Boom. I'll take it. We managed to win the game. Ooh, and we also got a cube lid. Well, if you did enjoy, hit that like button, and I will see you in another episode of Money Wars. Bye, guys.